So now that we've uploaded those 10 photos to Shutterstock on the previous video and we've had the results back, we had 6 out of 10 accepted, 2, uh, two rejections were my own fault so I'm not too displeased with that. Um, what we're going to do now is upload the same 10 photos to Photolia or Photolia, whatever you want to call them, um, and we're going to see how we get on with those. Now once you've got an account with Photolia and you've logged in and you're on your home page as a contributor, then you have two options. You can either upload as a new file, which we've got here. So if you've got a single file you're uploading, then you, you go to this page and you basically tick all the boxes to say it doesn't contain anyone that can't be recognized without a model release. I am the author. My file doesn't contain trademarks, etc. And it's the type of photo layer of customers need, as in you've looked through their wants and needs and you've looked at the file specs below, made sure everything's OK and you're going to upload it. That means it's ready to go. Then you just click browse for the file and upload it. Simple as that. What we're going to do, because we've got 10, you have another option of uploading via Flash. Um, so you can obviously upload um, as many files as you want. So we've got 10, so I'm going to go Browse, go to my photos here, and then just select them all and click Open. That will now start uploading all of those 10 photos. Now obviously it's going to take a little while, so what I'll do is allow those to upload. I'll pause the video and then uh, come back when once they've been uploaded. Okay, so they've uploaded. So now what you need to do is go back to your account and click on the uh, your files, uh, manage my files, and then we got we come to this page. You can look at your uploaded files, your sold files, unsold files, releases, etc. But the uploaded files will show all the ones that you've just uploaded. So we've got all ten there waiting to be edited. Now, as I've said, um, the image loads and it up populates with the the title and everything. Um, you've already got the um, all the keywords and everything already pre-populated all you've got to do is actually edit all of the photos to put them in the right categories etc you can either view the information that's all the EXIF data everything that you've uploaded to that photo um, you can delete the image or you can edit you can either edit by using this edit data button here or the blue state button here if it's blue it means it needs editing it needs work to do and when you hover over it you see there it says information needs to be completed or validated so if we click on that image I can show you, I'll show you one of these and I'll do all of them and then um, I won't take you through each and every one because it's very similar to the Shutterstock one. You've just got to choose certain things. So here you can see the title and the country has been um, populated already. The file, it's a file not an illustration so we'll keep it at that. Keywords have all been populated so we just add them all over to there like that. You can see they're all in there now, all the keywords are in, we've got 26. Um, you can add more if you want, just keep typing them and adding them over. You can go back and edit once you've done these, even a year later if you want, you can add, um, you, you can upload those uh, more keywords. Then we've got to choose categories, so we've got a few more on here than Shutterstock. Um, we can display all categories, so we've got them here. This is a bit more time consuming, so this photo is of a, a flood situation, so we're going to look at things like, um, it's not going to be flora, we're going to look at things like... Uh, background abstract. Um, um, we'll look at landscape. Um, we've got let's have a look water. There's no flood in there. I don't think. No. We could put the sea. Um, we've got natural disaster, and we could. Just, not sure if there's flood there, but we could have storm, uh, fire, earthquake. Other. We'll keep that storm. So landscape, natural disaster, storm. Um, we've got the word flood in the keyword so that should be okay so that's the representative category that basically shows you what you see then we've got the conceptual category down here where if we display all of these then you've got a concept that you have to kind of find um, and it could be do, 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 there's loads here social issues science and nature um, do, 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 nature ocean forces of nature that would be a good one so we've got forces of nature I uh, don't think they actually got the word flood in there. So we've got uh, landscape, natural disaster, storm, thunderstorm, then we've got science and nature, nature and forces of nature. We've got the keyword floods in there so it all works well. Um, don't need a model release but if we've got our existing releases there, they're all the ones that I've already uploaded for models that I've used. Um, if you need to upload a new one then you just click here to upload um, and that's basically it. Then you have to answer these questions. Do you wish to give Photolia exclusivity? Now it's important here because it populates automatically at yes so I'm going to say no and would you like to offer it in the free section if it gets rejected I always put no I never know if they're going to say oh we, we could have that but let's put it in the free section it doesn't cost us anything um, so I just put no for both of those and then at this point you can actually um, you can set your extended 
price once you get to a certain level uh, you can see here the revenue that you're, you're going to receive for all of those photos the credit price for a standard and um, up to the extended royalty free license uh, I'm not sure if I can change that, let's put that to 50 I can so I'm going to put that at 50 um, so if someone wants to buy an extended license they have to pay $50 of which I get $15 uh, dollars. Um, so that's it and then I click here to accept the conditions of the contract and then submit and finish and it will now take me back to the my file section where it shows that that is now uh, in a, an approval queue uh, I can go and view the information and re-edit it if I want to now all I've got to do is do exactly the same with all of those so rather than go through all of those again the video will take too long I'm going to go through and populate them using the same techniques using the same kind of uh, answers not use, making them free not making them exclusive to Photolia and then I'll come back once I've done that actually before I um come to the end of these before we, we upload all of them um, just wanted to explain something that I'd completely forgotten about like I said it's been a while since I uploaded any but Photolia don't actually accept um, editorial content which is really strange because apparently when you do have model releases for editorial content they actually sell fairly well so um, I can't upload those ones without model releases so they're going to have to be binned so that's uh, three of those seven images are going to have to be dumped um, and to do that you just go back into your um, the list here and actually delete them so if I just delete that one and sadly that's got to go so delete and then we go back to the uploaded files which are here now I'm actually going to test this I'm actually going to upload this as royalty free and see what happens um, you know the faces aren't that clear but I'm going to upload it anyway and just see what happens to be a bit naughty um, and then the other one I've got without a release oh that one I'm not sure what that's doing there um, so let's have a look oh that's that's going on to my all my other images um, what happens is if I wanted to show a hundred images per page it will show you all my other images as well so the the ones you're working on are always at the top and then all the ones that have already been accepted are always down here so they've all got green lights to say they've been accepted so the other editorial content was that one so I'm gonna actually leave that one and just let it upload um, as a royalty free and see what happens so um, I'll finish the rest of those and then come back in a sec okay so those have all been uploaded now and um, all, all had their categories done and the keywords checked and everything done that needs to be done and you can see they're all now in a state of approval queue so they're all waiting in the approval queue so I'll let you know hopefully um, below the video on the page when um, they've been accepted or rejected and why um, just quickly going down here you can see this is a photo I did when we're actually the stock photography course so we just set it up in the garage and took a photo of me that got accepted um, did a bit of a walk about in London with a friend took a few stock photos up in London uh, got those accepted um, these are when I shot a wedding in Italy had a wander around before the wedding took some shots um, these are just mucking about in the garage in the garden I take my camera everywhere in case a stock photo opportunity comes up um, basically you never know when it's going to happen so always keep your camera with you um, and always keep your eyes open keep your eyes peeled for, for a good stock shot and then just upload them so that's it for photo Leah. like I said I'll let you know um, below the video on the page when um, I've had the, the results through but uh, hopefully some of those nine will get uh, accepted so I hope that helps and um, we'll see you on the next video